In what is otherwise a chilly fall day, there was an announcement this morning from Mayor Olivia Chow about the Cafe T.O. patio setups in the city. After a rough start in 2023 to try and get small businesses and restaurants set up, this was a promise to make things better in 2024. Uh, it was a bit messy. Uh, it's on behalf of the city. Sorry about that. But we said we are going to do better this year and we're going to. Apologies from the mayor after the rules to set up outdoor seating along curb lanes and sidewalks this year saw more fees being added and applications from businesses being delayed. Sometimes when you have three teams involved, it's uh, a bit hard to coordinate. It's growing pains. Uh, we got people all connected now. Changes to be made include fast track approvals for restaurants planning to return and letting them know by the end of November if they are approved for next year. For new businesses in 2024, an easier and faster approval process with applications starting in January and to approve them by mid-April. The idea is to ensure curb lane patios are open for the May long weekend. It takes a lot of staff support to do this. It takes a lot of coordination. And so what we've tried to do as much as humanly possible is strike that balance. Application and permit fees were introduced to businesses this year after being waived when the program started during the COVID pandemic, which prompted negative feedback. In response, the city reduced the amount and there's hope for more wiggle room this time around. I think the numbers of participants this year indicated that that fee for some was a hill too tall to climb and hence the reduction in numbers. A report on the success of the program this year is still to come. In 2022, it's estimated Cafe TO brought $200 million in economic benefits to the city. So how quickly can we expect these setups to be removed this fall? The city has said they have to wait for restaurants to remove their patio setup before they can move in. At this point, 250 have been removed throughout the city with another 94 left to go. Mark McAllister, City News.